Hello. It's me. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to make this video. I am not driving. I'm just in my car. I'm on my way home and from a long day at work. And I'm starting to do some of that typical kind of self-critical, oh, I need to go home and do so much stuff and I haven't done enough. And so as I'm driving, <clears throat> I was thinking about <laughs> changing that thought, changing those thoughts and what to do to combat that in terms of shifting it. <clears throat> And the answer is self-compassion, which I talk about in my book. The answer is, as I'm hearing and saying these self-critical things to myself, to be aware that I'm saying it, which I am, and to shift it. So to take the self-critical, oh, I need to go home and do more. I need to affirm to myself, I have done plenty today. I saw nine clients. Some of those sessions were intense. I was very engaged. I put a lot of energy into it. So it has been a long day. I am tired. And me trying to go to get things done, um, personal or otherwise, at home is not going to work very well. It's just going to set me up for feeling bad about not getting whatever else done. <clears throat> Instead, I need to be kind to myself and gentle with myself and allow myself to go home and relax. And if I want to do some reading now, I thought, oh, I got to go home and I've got to I've got to read this book that I got yesterday at the seminar about, you know, being a better therapist. And I've got to, you know, figure out how to do better so that I can do better by all my clients. Well, it's fine if I want to do that. If I want to read some of the book, which, which I do. I probably will read some more tonight. I read some last night. But here's the thing. It can't be a, I've got to. I have to. It needs to be, what do I want to do? When I want to do it, it's fine. And, and it's about what our motivation is. We, we've got to stop pushing ourselves and being mean to ourselves. So I'm going to go home. <clears throat> and relax, probably going to read my book a little bit, check in on all my animals, and then I'm probably going to watch some TV, which part of my brain goes, oh, what a waste of time, I shouldn't be watching TV, but I need an escape. I need to get away from myself. Also, along the lines of growing my brain, um, as I was learning about yesterday, the seminar was so awesome, Dan Siegel is a great speaker. He has a lot of books out. If any of you are really interested in the brain stuff, please go go get some of his stuff. Fabulous. Really, really good. And he's a really neat person in, in person, too. I'm really glad I got to see him in person. <clears throat> but he talks about the fact that we can change our brains, which is what I wrote in my book. So, yay, he confirmed it. We can change our brains. And we can grow our brains and we can grow the connections between our neurons and we can grow better myelin sheaths on our brain cells, which helps them work better. And we can grow more brain cells. So there's so many ways that we can truly change ourselves. And the way we do this is to do things differently. Go figure. So I tend to be a push, 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 run, run, run. I'm going to intentionally take some slow down time at home. I'm going to do some mindfulness, some mindful breathing for five minutes, which is going to feel like an eternity to me <laughs> that I'm not busy doing something. But I need to do something different than what I typically do in order to stretch my brain. And that's what I want to do. I want to practice and find these methods so that so that I can be a better therapist. I do want to be a better therapist, but I want I want to want to. I don't want to feel like I have to. Very very different motivation. So, I'm going to go home and take care of myself and relax and have quiet time and uh and stretch my brain a little bit. So, 
I encourage you all to do the same. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Compassionate with yourself. It makes such a difference. Until next time.